here is yet another reason why NYC ain't for me. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a 65 year old man in New York City who is being charged with eight counts of illegal weapons possession after he used one of the so called illegal weapons to defend himself against a would be mugger. Now, the mugger is or was because he did, but this guy was 32 years old, had multiple prior arrests, like 15 prior arrests, probably robbery, guns, whatever, drugs, who knows. But there is a video of the attempted robbery and the self-defense. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, the man who defended himself is not being charged for ending the mugger's life because it was a clear, open and shut case of self-defense. However, because he had a gun and it's New York City, that is, I guess, not really allowed or they might have got to investigate. And when they went into his house after they say, okay, you got a gun, you use it. Now we're going to go into your house. And they found an arsenal of weapons. Now, before we go any further, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual video here. You see the headline of this article, New York Post, New York City man who federally shot would be mugger had arsenal of 30 guns, cops say. Now, here is the video in question, all right? And it's not going to be any sound, but you see the man right here, that's the 65-year-old man, and there is the would-be mugger. And you're going to see how he was behaving in the video. Again, there's no sound. Look, moving crazy, going back and forth. And you see my man right here has a cigarette in his mouth, and the pistole is right there. So... I'm sure he's like, hey, back up off me. Let's not do this. And by the way, this area right here was at the front of his apartment, like right at the entrance of, his, of the old man's apartment. And he wants to defend himself. And the guy is trying to hurt him. All right. And then at a certain point, boom, boom, boom. He gets shot, bang, bang, bang. And he tries to eventually flee. And it doesn't really work out too well. He dies right there on the scene. Now, Again, the 65-year-old man is not being charged with the attempted mugger's death because this was an open-in-case self-defense. There is no denying it. However, you still got to get criminalized in New York City, just like Daniel Penny, just like Jordan Williams, not Jordan Neely, Jordan Williams, these guys who defended themselves and others on the subway platform are now being charged with manslaughter because the guy in that case died. And they can't really tell if it was self-defense or not. In this case, he's not being charged with manslaughter or anything about the person's death. But, hey, now you got a gun charge on your back. Not just one gun charge, but eight gun charges. You could go away to the penitentiary. But let's get into the article to see exactly what's going on. If we can glean anything from this. These are the firearms that cops said were stockpiled by the Queens man who fatally gunned down a mugger near his home in late May. So they're going to show pictures of the arsenal in a moment. We'll get to those. Photos obtained by the Post show a shocking cache of at least 30 guns, nine ammunition magazines, and two bulletproof vests that police say they discover in the Kew Gardens home of Charles Foner, a 65-year-old retired doorman who federally shot Cody Guns I-32 during an attempted robbery in the driveway to his apartment building. The trove, which police said featured weapons purchased over decades, included at least 14 rifles and shotguns, an AK-47 among them, along with at least 16 handguns. Demetrios Karras, marketing manager at Firearms Unknown in Oceanside, California, estimated the collection was worth between fifteen dollars and $20,000. Now, that is not a lot of money, fifteen dollars to grand. So, you have 30 guns, right? So, let's say... Each gun costs a thousand bucks, which it's not. That's 30 grand right there. 30 guns, 1,000, 30 grand. Now, 15,000 would be half of the 30, so that's 500 bucks per gun. You're talking about regular Bob's Gun Store, Academy Sports, regular stuff, nothing really major. And we're going to see the guns in a minute, and you're going to know that they're not very major. This is not some kind of scary weapons. This is like really basic pawpaw type collection. Okay, when, when your pawpaw goes to glory, he may leave you these guns. 
that's kind of what's going on here anyway. And he said, it. this is all pretty standard stuff. It probably took him years to do, but it's nothing overly impressive. Foner was slapped with eight counts of weapons possession by Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz. And at first that was like, I think, I think they said it was 25 counts, but they brought it down to eight. Now it should be zero counts because second minute, because it doesn't have anything that's illegal. No, no, um, you, you see it in a minute. These are regular running the mill guns. So there shouldn't be any charges here. Okay. And they said, including possessing the unlicensed gun used during the fatal shooting and for maintaining an armory filled with many unlicensed firearms, ammunition, and body armor. So I guess you got to have a license for each gun in New York City. I mean, I hear where I live, ain't no such thing. You go to Bob's gun store and you're good to go. You go home and you got it. You don't need a license for each individual weapon, okay? And that, that's him right there. That's the man, Charles Foner, the man who defended himself, 65 years old, with a gun, okay? The great equalizer. The guy was half his age, probably high on drugs, a violent felon, had been in jail many times before. He did what he should have done. He did what they would tell you to do, okay? Protect yourself, right? Outside of your house. Now, these are old guns purchased a long time ago. You can see what's going on right here. Revolvers, really? So we're getting locked up over revolvers? Because, you know, the media will say, oh, it's the big, scary AR-15. It's fully semi-automatic, is what they say, right? Ridiculous, dumb stuff. We're talking about revolvers, regular um, um, uh, rifles, shotguns, nothing, ba not, nothing beyond basic weaponry. I don't even see an AR-15 in here, okay? These are regular guns. You might have single action rifles in this mix. Okay. Now, of course, you got magazines and whatnot. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Bulletproof vest. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, clearly, you're living in NYC. You're going to need it. Clearly, he needed his gun that night because if he did not have his gun that night, legal or illegal, he could have been dead. And then nobody would care. Then it wouldn't even be on the news. Okay. It'd be another little blurb, another. Uh, violence statistic, that's where he would be rather than alive right now. You know what they say, I'd rather be judged by 12 than to be carried by six, for sure. So it said he had at least 16 handguns and 14 long guns. Okay. So is that, do you feel proud of yourself, NYC? Now, I don't even want to blame the police. This is more about the laws in New York City. Do you, you feel proud of yourself parading around revolvers, talking about you got guns off the street, you're talking about this guy that has no prior criminal history. He's a retired doorman. He's now a deli worker. Okay, like, what do you even, you're not getting to the core of the problem. You need to be getting after these dope boys and the guys that have repeat violent criminal records, like the guy that got deleted for trying to attack this old man. All right, so they got... Regular, regular ammunition, Bob's gun store stuff, old boxes from the eighties. I mean, come on, man, really? Um, yeah, look at, look at, look at this. Come on. I mean, you get in charge for this. These are nice guns, but like I said, if your Paul Paul passes away, you would get these guns as an inheritance. That's what's going on. If you if your Paul Paul, your dad, or whatever, he'll leave you these guns. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Like, really? Basic single action rifles? Come on. So eight counts of weapons possession by Queens District Attorney Melinda Katz. Margaret Lynn, Foner's lawyer, told the Queens criminal court judge, Jerry um, Lennitz, that the shooting was a total aberration in her client's life. Foner was released from Rikers Island, earlier in the month on $50,000 bail and is scheduled to return to court August 16th. And he should not be in any kind of trouble. He should not be facing any kind of court action for just having guns. I mean, what in the world, New York City? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to lock up senior citizens for defending themselves and for having run-of-the-mill normie guns? Look, I don't see any of the Glock um, fully automatic things, the little fun buttons, the switches in there. I don't see any of those. I, I don't see any bump stocks. I, I don't see nothing that's even remotely controversial, let alone illegal. These are regular guns. 
and you want to put him in jail, you want to have him go through the whole court process after he had to end somebody, he had to delete somebody to defend himself. This is totally ridiculous. This is part of the reason why NYC, as I said from the beginning, it ain't for me. Roaches and rats, out of control, completely mutant, gigantic, horrific, okay, video game type roaches and rats, dark souls, demon souls, crazy stuff. The, the boss rats are 15 foot tall. It's a mess, right? And on top of that, you cannot really defend yourself. So you got these crazy crackheads, meth heads, fentanyl, whatever is a drug of choice. You got them out here running amok, not getting locked up, no bail, out on the street in 24 hours at best. And then one of them attacks you. You have a gun. And if you use it, you might go to jail. You on a subway platform and a guy attacks you and your girlfriend, you might go to jail. You on a subway platform, you see a guy about to explode, you stop the explosion and he dies afterward, you might go to jail. So, like, where is room for the common everyday person to just be okay and not worry about their life coming to an end because they saved their own life? This is totally ridiculous, totally crazy. Free that man, free Daniel Penny, and free Jordan Williams. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about what's going on here with this man, 65 years old, senior citizen, being charged with weapons charges after defending himself with a weapon? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. I'd rather be judged by 12 than to be carried by 6, Okay. This man did nothing wrong. The, the laws of New York City aside, if he did not have that gun that night, he'd probably be dead. Because whoever that guy was appeared to be crazy, high on drugs, and it, it would have been a confrontation that would have ended badly, whether he'd be severely injured, dead, permanent, wheelchair. It could be anything. He did the right thing. And I could just, I just, I just hope that New York City... If it's a jury trial, hopefully the jury says not guilty, throws all the charges away, because they, they shouldn't be. I mean, come on. They're talking about, oh, there was a, a trove of guns. He had an arsenal, and there's so much gun violence out here. Do you think this man is contributing to New York City's gun violence problem? Is that what you think? Totally ridiculous. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.